All right, hey, welcome to multiplying and dividing real numbers. So we're gonna be multiplying integers, and integers are basically positive and negative numbers, learning how to deal with them. So first off, let's look at the first one. Let's model this, two times three. Now we know that's six. You've been doing that since probably at least third grade. However, there's one group of three, there's two groups of three, and if we did the old Sesame Street count one, two, three, four, five, six, we do get six. But the reason I point that out is now I have a group of what? Negative three, and I have another group of negative three. So two times a negative three gives me a total of what? Six negative ones, all right? So I got an answer of negative six. Now I want to show you something here. I'm gonna do this one a little different because I don't really know how to show a negative two the other way, so I'm gonna do this here. I have a group of negative two, but instead of having one group, I actually have what? Three groups of negative two, and that gave me a total of still what? Negative six for an answer, all right? So now then, let's try this here. Now this time I have a negative two and a negative three, so I'm gonna take one group of negative three, and I have a negative three, but I have these two groups but that negative right there, what I need to do is then in a sense take these groups and because of that negative, that negative makes the negative three, but this negative means I gotta flip them. So I actually end up with six positive ones. So the answer to this one is six. So that's the kind of the, uh, the shortcut version there of how to model it. Let's do a couple more that's a little bit more detail with some modeling. So first off, two times two times three, well that's not a big deal, you have two, you do two times two is four, and then you're gonna have three groups of four, that's 12. Like I said, just a, doing a little extra multiplication there. Now this time I have a negative two, so I'm gonna have two groups of negative two, and then I'll have that three times, so I actually end up with a total of what? Negative 12 of those. What happens if I have a negative two and a negative two first? Well, let's look at this here. There's negative two, the other negative, but now I gotta make that right there. I gotta flip those signs, and so I actually end up with what? Three groups, so my answer will be positive 12, all right? Positive 12, and now let's add another negative deal. What do you think's gonna happen? The first part's still gonna be the same. And then we flip those to make for that negative right there. And now then I'm gonna have three groups of those. And I'm gonna to have to what? Flip those again because of that negative right there. That's why it's green. Green makes the answer again negative 12. Made that negative 12. So notice these were our answers. And what do you see a pattern here? Let's look at this. No negatives. It's positive. You've been doing that a long time. One negative, negative. One negative, it was negative. Two negatives, a positive. Well, here they're all positives. You've been doing that since third grade. Not really the big secret. There's no negatives. Positive. One negative, negative. Two negatives, positive. Three negatives, Negative. Well, here's what we, I think we can determine from this. You see a pattern? Well, I see one. Notice everywhere there was one negative or three negatives. And there we have two. See those? So here's our rules. If there's an odd number of negatives, notice the ones that are here in red had odd number of negatives. Those were negatives. And if you have an even number of negatives, they cancel each other out. For those of you who've been in class, you've heard the didn't not go to the store story. So there we go. It turned out to be positive. So the simple rule would be this. If they are an odd number of negatives, it's negative. An even number of negatives, it is positive. All right. So let's go ahead and do this right here. Let's do these right here. First off, let's count. How many negatives in the first problem? Two, so my answer should be positive. Going to this problem right here. How many negatives? There are three, so my answer should be negative. 
Five times four is 20, times two is what, negative 40? And that negative one's gonna make it back to negative 40. Those two make it positive 20, positive 40, negative 40. Now division is the same thing as multiplication, except dividing. Here I have one negative, so guess what my answer is going to be? That's right, it's going to be negative. And my 18 divided by 9 makes it 2, so it's negative 2. On this one I have one negative, so negative 42 divided by 6 will be negative 7. Now what about this next one? There are two negatives, so what do you think that's going to do? That's going to be like that did not go to the store problem. A negative divided by a negative will make it positive. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. What will go into 8 and 18? 2. So take each of those, divide them by 2, and you get 4 ninths. And because the two negatives cancel out, it's just a positive 4 ninths. All right, now coming over here to this one, I have how many negatives? 1. So I know my answer is going to be negative. And I can just take, that's like 24 over 1. So I can take 24 times negative 1 over 8, only I'm not going to leave my answer that way because that would obviously what? Reduce. Now 8 will go into 24 exactly what? 3 times. And the answer is going to be negative. Now you can leave the negative on the top or you can leave it on the bar. Technically you could even leave it on the denominator, but it's recommended to leave it like on the top or right there on the bar. And your answer is negative 3. All right. So that's our rules for multiplying and dividing with positives and negatives.